Hi folks. Well, I've been sent another thing to look at by these Reichelt guys. And um, see, I've learned to say their name properly now. Reichelt, not Reichelt, as I said in the last video. Anyway, this time around, they've sent me a 3Doodler 2.0 3D printing pen thingy. Um, always wanted to have a play with one of these. So thank you very much, Reichelt. And uh, anyone who hasn't checked their website out yet, um, I suggest you take a look at it. They're another major distributor who have come to the UK this year in March and uh, very glad to have them in the country. Um, they reckon they're up to 20% cheaper on some products than other places in the UK. Um, but certainly well worth a look. Um, better prices on this than I could find on Amazon at least. Anyway, I'm going to take this out of the box, have a play with it and maybe take it to pieces. So let's go. So when you order this through their website, you get a little pop-up that tells you you need a uh, plug adapter because it's got a European style plug on it. And uh, unlike practically every other place that sends me adapters, this is a proper one with a fuse and everything. It's not one of these dodgy Chinese death adapters for, tra for export only, which are unfused and uh, really not very good at all. It's a real one with a fuse and look it's got a little power switch thing so it only turns the power on when it's plugged in and everything so um yeah really quite pleased to have that very good well done Reichelt on selling the right thing for the job let's have a look in the box I haven't opened this yet this is the first time I get to see it so uh just a standard disclaimer here, I don't get paid for reviewing products, but I get to keep this one as well. So um, yeah, thank you very much Reichelt, very happy to have this. Um, plug in, switch it on to high, put some stuff in, do some drawing. Okay, we'll have a look. Now we've got a quick start guide, which I will, I will actually read that off the camera. We've got a multilingual instruction manual thing, I probably won't read that. We got ah, a bunch of ABS and a bunch of PLA strands. And these look like they're 2.85 mil filament, same as my Ultimaker, Ultimaker takes, which is superb because it means I've got uh, lots and lots of different kinds I can have a play around with. And this is the three doodler pen itself. Very nice and small and light. I was kind of expecting it to be bigger and clunkier than that. A little off-low high switch on the side. Don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of charging port. And I believe that's the fast extrude and the slow extrude button. And we've also got power supply. Superb. Though, annoyingly, that way round means it's going to take up two sockets. That's a shame. Um, and a bunch of tools. little spanner for changing the Extruder on the end, changing the nozzle. Pokey thing for when it inevitably gets clogged. Can I get it out of the box? Pokey thing and a little screwdriver for some reason. Switch it to high. Red light comes on. Wait for it to heat up, I guess. What should we try first of all? I like this nice blue colour try a stick of that. So just while that's heating up, a quick look at the instructions. Um, if you want to read them in detail, you can probably pause the video, but uh, largely speaking, plug it in, put your strand in, wait a little while. It says it takes 30 to 40 seconds to get up to speed. Um, it says high temp is for things like ABS, low temp is for things like PLA. Hold down both buttons at the same time to reverse the plastic strand. Okay. Well, the red light has gone blue. Let's uh, feed this in and see what happens. Oh, it makes a kind of nice whirring noise. Just let you hear the noise this thing makes. This is it feeding. I don't know how long it takes before it reaches the end. Uh, not entirely straightforward getting the uh, 
plastic to feed in the back here. Well, I did say I wasn't going to read this, but given that the uh, simple put the filament in the end, press low or high, and it will come through, wasn't working. I guess I'm going to have to read the instructions. I've been trying for 10 or 15 minutes so far to get this thing to actually feed the plastic through and every now and again it gives me a little stringy bit out the end and then it stops again. But um, I have to say the kind of uh, step one turn it on, step two put the strand in, step three ready to doodle. Nah, nothing quite that simple. The filament is finally feeding in and out. I finally got success. No, it's stopped again. What am I doing wrong? It's both buttons to reverse. Yeah, that's reversing the filament. I can see it working its way back up towards the wire. And it's done. Right, let's cut a bit more off that. And try again. Filament is feeding in. I can definitely see that. Something's got to come out the other end soon. There we go. Filament extruding. And then filament has stopped extruding. So I'm pretty sure this isn't something I'm doing wrong. I'm just putting the filament in and pressing the button. But it's not feeding. Okay, let's reverse that. And we're on high, we're using the plastic they sent with it. So it's melted some again, and then it's, um, yeah, not extruded. Well, I'm still having basically no success with this. If I put pressure on the back of the filament, I can get it to extrude a little bit. It's wearing its motors away, but as soon as I stop pressing on the back of the filament, it stops working, it kind of extrudes an inch and then it gives up altogether and then it keep taking the filament out. There we go, right, that's extruding, keep extruding. Uh, it's actually, is it actually extruding? No, no, it's given up again. So I'll try a PLA and see if that works any better. So now it's pressed to stop extruding, something weird going on there. Mm, again, mashed at the end of another piece of filament. So I really am trying to give this thing every opportunity to work. You can see I'm onto the kind of orangey coloured filament now. And it seems to extrude for 10 or 15 seconds. I got this little triangle and then it stopped working. I got that far and it stopped working. I got that far and it stopped working. It's on continuous extrusion right now. It's supposed to be just feeding continuously. If I shove on the end, we might get a little bit out of it, but it's really just not working. Okay, so I've been away and had a little think about this now. Um, I was kind of getting close to the point of throwing it in the bin. But um, thinking about this, the, the fact that it feeds the filament through fine for the first couple of inches and then stops. I mean, clearly the filament feed mechanism is all working. It's pushing it forwards. The head is hot enough to extrude to begin with, but after a couple of inches, not so much anymore. So I'm going to try cranking the temperature up a bit. And they say clockwise increases the temperature. So um, that's to the max on the heat. Um, so we'll give that another try now. And uh, see if we get any more success out of it. This is really the only thing I can think of to try and improve matters and if this doesn't work then it's coming to pieces. We have something actually working. There we go. No, it's stopped again. Well, I almost got all excited then. I managed to get it to extrude all of that before it stopped working again. And uh, now the filament's totally jammed in there. It won't reverse, it won't forward. I can't get it to do anything anymore. Right, I give up. That's it. I've done my bit. I've given this thing more than a fair chance. I think we can uh, see by quite the amount of failure there 
Um, yeah, it's just not going to work, is it? It's really not. Right, let's take this to pieces. Okay, so I failed to uh, tear this thing down. I worked out how to get the rubber bit at the front folded up, but I think these buttons are part of the same thing. Um, no visible screws anywhere. Couldn't get the back end to unclip. I figured this black plastic at the back end here would unclip and then the unit would slide forward. So I fairly quickly gave up on that and I thought I'd give it one last try. And it actually seemed to be working at the time. So let's see if it's still going to work now and if I'm actually going to be able to draw a shape. We have extrusion. I can draw something. Still haven't stopped working yet. It's amazing. Let's go up. And we'll stop there. Wait for that to solidify. Didn't quite leave it long enough to go solid there. Finally managed to make a thing. I've made a cube and it's reasonably tough. And uh, yeah, it worked. I finally got it to do something. I feel a great sense of achievement having made a small plastic cube. So um, while it's working, and hopefully it will carry on working from now on, I don't know what was wrong with it, I don't know what fixed it, but it's working now. So when you press, it takes a few seconds to feed the filament forward enough to actually start it extruding. There we go. So now I can add an extra layer onto my little cube. There we go. And when I let go, it'll then retract the filament back again. Look, there we go. We've got one filled face on my little cube. I'm just going to squish that a bit flat while it's still kind of soft. So, um, yeah, it does PLA at least, now that I've got it working. So, after a significant amount of time, I have managed to uh, colour in five of the six faces on my cube and I even managed to change filament colours on the way through and it did get stuck a couple of times when I was doing this but um, nothing like the problems I was having earlier on with it so um, yeah I can actually make things um, that's using the PLA I'm going to see if I can do something with the ABS now see if that gets any better and I'm using the PLA on the hot setting there which well let's be honest as soon as I got the thing working I didn't want to mess with the settings too much in case it stopped but um, so far we're continuing to work so things are looking up in the world. ABS I'm back to having problems again um, hopefully we're gonna extrude something so we're extruding now but now we've stopped again and I only actually get reliable extruding if I push on the back end we're extruding a bit. We're still going, we're still going. Yeah, it's still working for now. But now we've stopped extruding again. So I don't know if this thing's just not getting sufficient temperature for ABS. I mean, it certainly seems to be able to melt it, but it uh, has problems feeding it. I just wanted to give you a better look at the feed mechanism on this thing. Um, when you press the button to feed, there's a motor that drives that worm screw in there, which then pulls the filament forward. And there's this little metal clip that goes over the top that kind of forces the filament down and into the screw. So I'm curious to find out if the problems I'm having with this thing not working with ABS are down to the nozzle not being hot enough. So I've got my thermocouple probe out and I'm just going to put a blob of uh, heat sink thermal transfer paste on there so I can be sure I'm getting a good connection to the thermocouple and then we'll see what sort of temperature this thing claims we're getting here. So. 224. I'm curious to see what effect 
turning this little potentiometer has as well. So with that little screw turned all the way down we seem to be holding at about 205 or so. Mm, 225 seems a bit on the low side for ABS. My uh, roll of ice plastic ABS says uh, 220 to 260 as its range. So maybe their ABS can do 220 but it seems a bit marginal to me. So having given up on the ABS altogether now, um, I have had some success with doing PLA on PLA. So I've decorated, these are just scraps from my uh, bin, but um, I decorated this failed plant pot which actually ended up leaking around at the bottom. And because uh, it's PLA on PLA, it's properly bonded on there. I could sand that or file it down to make it smooth. And I also had to go filling, filling in the lettering on the uh, lid for my isolation transformer. I've made a new lid because it now lives down here under the shelf and it was just a tiny bit too high. But um, yeah, it does a reasonable job on kind of decorating existing 3D prints. So um, for PLA only, yeah, I'm not terribly upset with it for that, but the uh, ABS stuff has caused me a huge amount of frustration today. Okay, I think I'm ready to call it now. I've spent five hours working around with this uh, Three Doodler 2.0 now, and uh, it has been an incredibly, incredibly frustrating experience. PLA, it seems to be just about workable with. The ABS plastic that came with it, no, it just point blank refuses to work with this. It feeds it for an inch, inch and a half, and then it gives up. And I'm getting fed up with taking this little flappy door off to try and uh, clean it out all the time. So um, I think as products go, I'd rate this one as a Um, three Doodler, if you're watching this review, if I'm doing something wrong, if someone can tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'd dearly love to know, but it, it seems to me that it just doesn't grip on the ABS properly. I don't know if the hot end's not getting hot enough to extrude ABS. Um, it doesn't seem to be able to extrude continuously and the little blue light keeps turning red and flashing. So um, perhaps if they'd put a more powerful heater in here, we'd be in business, but um, no, I just can't make it work with the ABS at all. With PLA, it does sort of work, but the results are quite variable. With Ninja Flex or other flexible materials, no, no, nothing at all, just not working. Anyway, big thank you again to Rykelt for sending me this to review. Um, if you're looking to buy electronics things, instrumentation, meters, measuring things, soldering things, 3D printing things, it's well worth checking out their website. But um, I'd steer clear of the three doodler myself. Anyway, thanks for watching folks and see you next time. Cheers! <laughs>